And when you start in the morning, sometimes, you know, it can be a little bit of a routine. You wash your face, you put on your moisturizer. Oh, and then we're going to stop there because sometimes you need a little bit of help when it comes to makeup and foundation. Joining us, joining us is a makeup extraordinaire, Mariah Deshay, alongside of her lovely model, Ray. Ladies, thanks for being here with us today. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. And Mariah, I mean, where do we start when it comes to foundation. So a couple weeks ago we talked about the importance of skin prep. For this we're going to talk about how to apply a smooth layer of foundation. So what I like to do um, is first I'm going to do half the face with a brush and then half with the sponge. I like to go in with small dots just so I can control the amount of product that I'm putting on. And for the sponge, it's good to um, wet the sponge first. As you can see, this sponge has doubled in size compared to the dry sponge. And so the sponge is good to just really pick up any excess product. It's really going to um, apply a thin layer of makeup to your face. So it's good for summertime when you want that makeup look, but you don't want it to be like heavy coverage. It's the no makeup makeup look. Right, right. right. <laughs> Now, would you say using a sponge is better than using a brush? It all depends on, again, the look you're going for. Lately, um, I really like a sponge because it kind of picks up that extra product and it doesn't leave my um, skin just feeling like weighed down. For like date nights or, or something like that, I like to use a brush because it'll give me just a little bit more um, coverage. So I coat the brush evenly, just like that. So it really just depends on what look you're going for. Right. And for my mature clients, where you um, like crease a lot or have fine lines, I would suggest that you put less product in those areas because it'll help um, that makeup not crease or settle in those fine lines. Um, it's also good to use a sponge in that area too because the sponge again is going to pick up any extra product and um, which is going to leave your skin Flawless, pretty much. Well, I mean, this makeup application on Ray looks so good. <laughs> and I'm just looking at the difference between the two. Yes. Like, they're both smooth, but you can tell this side, or I guess the right side, I guess on TV it might be <laughs> the left side. But it just looks so smooth. And it has and a little bit little more bit coverage. More. Can yes, you see you that? Get a little bit more coverage. And I think the difference that people need to remember is um, you can still have full coverage, but it can be a thin layer. So this is still full coverage, but it's just not as much as the brush side. That is me on TV every day. It's yeah. full coverage, <laughs> but it's very thin, very minor. I am, you know, I've learned how to do makeup because of TV. Yes. Okay, so when it comes to cleaning the brushes as well as the sponge, how often are we cleaning? What do we need to be cleaning with? So it's important to clean your brushes um, at least uh, like once a week. So if I'm using or doing my makeup three times a week, I need to be washing my brush um, once a week just because it'll start, not only like does the brush carry a lot of bacteria and will cause breakouts, but it'll start affecting the performance of the brush. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, this is our first time using it. But if I use this three more times, these bristles are gonna get like clumped together. And so when I go in to apply, it's not gonna be as smooth as it is now. It's gonna be streaky, blotchy, and it's not gonna look as good. Yeah, I mean, you talked about being streaky and blotchy, but how do we prevent our makeup from being cakey? That's a great question. So what prevents your makeup or what you can do to prevent your makeup from being cakey is, again, going back to skin prep, moisturizing the skin. Anytime you have flaky skin or dry skin, makeup is just going to emphasize that texture. So uh, we're going to exfoliate. We're also going to make sure that our makeup products are agreeing with each other. So Ooh, that's important. Yeah, it is. <laughs> It is. So a lot of the times we have like an oil-based primer and then we're trying to go in with a, a water-based foundation. Water and oil don't mix, so it will cause like a slipping effect or it won't adhere to the skin. This all makes so much sense. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, well, this is just a great way to get started. Again, we talked about always prepping your skin, but now having a good base, you can do a foundation, a thin foundation, or not a thin foundation, you know what <laughs> thin I'm saying. A thin <laughs> layer of your foundation. Okay, Mariah, if people are at home, they're watching, they're interested in booking you for weddings mm -hmm. or parties, events, yes. where can they go to find you? They can go on my website, MariahDeshayMUA.com. You can also go on my Instagram, which is the same, MariahDeshayMUA, and click the book now button and I'll get back to you. Perfect, and we'll make sure you have access to all of that information on our website at studiostl.tv. St. Louis, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this quick break.